Hi guys, it's me Alicia and I'm back with my normal wash day routine. In this video, I'm not going to have any sponsored products or anything that was given to me. This is 100% all me and I just wanted to show you guys what I do to my hair realistically. But as you guys can see, my scalp is extremely flaky and dry and I don't know if this is a condition, but my scalp itches all the time no matter what I do to it. So what I'm doing now is just taking a hot oil treatment and this bottle I believe I have castor oil, coconut oil, peppermint oil, rosemary oil, and tea tree oil. That really helps with just soothing my scalp and helping with releasing the dead skin that's on there because it's been a while since I washed my hair and this is the norm for me. I just don't know how to get rid of the itchiness or the dryness. So again, I'm just placing this on my scalp and taking the remainder of the oil and putting it down the length of my hair. Now I'm just going to take my fingertips and just massage my scalp to help with further removing those flakes and just cover my head up with a plastic bag. I'm not quite sure what the benefits is for this part, but I just do it. I believe this is just my pre-poo. However, if you don't want to do this part, you can skip it. But now we're in the shower. This is my hair after the hot oil treatment. And now I'm just going to saturate my entire head with water and remove any shedded hairs if I find any. So since I have dandruff and dry, itchy, flaky scalp, I like to use a shampoo that's formulated to removing that. So I use my Head & Shoulders Moisture Care 2-in-1. I do believe this is the coconut for textured hair. And I only like to apply that on my scalp. This is gonna help with removing the dead skin, the flakiness, and all of that stuff. And I also like to use my um, scalp massager to further help with removing those pieces of skin that I have and then I just rinse out the shampoo and this is what my hair is looking like and for my hair because I do wash my hair twice especially when my hair is this dirty I like to use my cream of nature I believe this is the moisture and shine shampoo I'll leave everything down below for you guys and I apply this down the shafts of my hair sometimes I might skip this step however my hair was extremely dirty so I did use it and for my rinse out conditioner I do use my Aussie moist and I pretty much just do this step to further put the conditioner back in my hair and to detangle. I'm also removing any shedded hair that I didn't get the first time and when I'm done I just tie it up and move on to the next section. So again I'm using my head and shoulders for dandruff and applying it straight to my scalp and then using my scalp massager to further help with removing any dead flaky skin and then rinsing my hair out. And then taking my Cream of Nature shampoo and applying it down the length of my hair to further remove any product buildup. And then using my Aussie Moist rinse out conditioner to help with detangling and removing any shedded hairs I may have left. Now I'm just going to go ahead and move on to the next section and repeat. Okay, so after applying the rinse out conditioner, 
this is the way my hair is looking like as you guys can see it is detangled but I like to go in again and detangle once more so what I'm gonna do is run my hair under the water and just do some more light finger detangling removing any shedded hairs that I may have left behind Okay, since I did two shampoos, you really want to put the moisture back in your hair. So I like to also follow it up with a deep conditioner. Today I'm using my Aussie 3 Minute Moisture Miracle. I think that's what it's called. And I'm just going to apply that to the hair. I usually use my Miche conditioner, but I ran out. But this will do. So I'm just applying the deep conditioner down the length of my hair and doing some more finger detangling and then moving on to the next section. Rinsing out my hair, doing some light finger detangling and then adding in my deep conditioner and then clipping it up and moving on to the next section. So after allowing the conditioner to sit on my hair for about 15 minutes, this is the way it's looking like. As you guys can see, my hair responds very well with the Aussie products. And you can also tell if your hair likes a product just how well your hair absorbs the conditioner. My hair absorbs it pretty good, so I will continue to use the Aussie products. But now I'm just going to rinse out the conditioner, making sure that I get every drop of it off of my scalp. Because if I even leave the littlest amount on there, I will start itching and I'll start to develop bumps all over my scalp. So you want to make sure you do not leave any rinse out conditioners on your scalp. I do put a little oil on there, but nothing major. And this is the way my hair looks like after my wash routine. As you guys can see, my hair is full of stretch. Stretch is the perfect indication that your hair is healthy because you have that elasticity. And yes, you can really see my texture coming through. I feel like my hair is extremely soft. My scalp is very clean and it doesn't feel irritated anymore so definitely incorporate a hot oil treatment into your regimen especially if you have a really um, irritated scalp or dandruff it really helps with removing the dead skin but anyways you guys this is how my hair is looking like I will follow this up with a length check and a wash and go so if you guys are interested be sure to check that out here's a quick length check but you will be able to catch the full one in my next upload let me know what you guys think of my routine and also leave a comment down below what your routine is and I'll catch you guys in the next video bye guys